Hello my lovely butterfly, it's France. Welcome back to my studio. This is Journal on Monday week 213, which I actually made for the launch of my new Paper Artsy stamps and stencils. <music> My new collection is all about calm and balance and zen attitude so I really wanted this spread to exude exactly that. I did it in one go, it took me 35 minutes, trying times and all included. I'm showing you as much as possible in real time without getting it boring, so I'm cutting out only the non-interesting pieces. I started with some Distress Oxides, spraying them with water, and then I just swiped my journal through it. The good thing about the journals that I make for myself is that you can open them and lay them flat on whatever page it is you want to. So swiping them through the ink is easy going. After doing it a first time, I added some more water to it, swiped it again through the ink and then heat set it uh, before repeating the whole process. If you're interested to know in which colors I use, which products, the whole list is in the description of this video with the links as to where you can find them. As I did have some ink over on my table and as I was in the process of making a whole bunch of samples for the new release, I picked up some of that ink with just regular watercolor paper to use for ADCs or cards or what's not later on. For the next step I used one of my new stencils and as I mentioned it's all about quiet, calm, zen attitude, so having a lotus flower and the word relax on there obviously helps. I started by applying a bit of the stress ink directly through one of the openings just to create a bit of depth in the background.
As so far I've only used water reactive products, playing with water is of course a very fun thing to do. So I splattered on some water, gave it a couple of seconds to react with the ink and then lifted it again with a piece of cloth. my new stencil set to decide on which stamps I wanted to use for this spread. I just picked out a couple and then started to work with those. In order to keep it simple and to make sure that everything would work together nicely and in a balanced way, I just reused the same inks as the one that I used to create the first layer. I picked up the spray ink from the same collection, Distress Oxides, same color, and just added some splatters here and there on the spread, just to create a little bit more interest in that background. I wanted to test if the composition that I had in mind would work with the spread, so I just used the masks and the stamps to put them on the spread to test my composition. And now that I knew that it was matching with what I had in mind, I could start working on it. So I used the stamp, which is the exact same size as the mask, to stamp on the paper. And I used archival ink to make sure that it wouldn't react with the water that I would use later on.
first I gave the rocks a little bit more shade by going around them with a water-soluble charcoal pencil and I'm blending it with some water. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add color around the circle or in the circle, so I placed the mask, gave myself a second to think about it, and then decided to go the other way around to use the stencil instead of the mask. And this circle actually matches the Enzo circle that is on the stem set, which is also known as the Japanese Zen circle. circle to look as if it was behind the rocks and not in front of the rock so I used the mask to cover those up and then just placed the stamp over the whole thing rocks a little bit more interest I used new colors too to colorize them that would allow me to blend the colors with water it would give a very soft effect so just a little hint of color and not like a solid cover-up
I have three versions of this flowered branch on the stamp sets. Um, a small open one, a small closed one, and a large open one. So you can really uh, make it work with each of the compositions that you would like to make. For this one, I really wanted it to look like the branch was growing out of the stacked rocks, as if balance as the rocks makes you grow. And then I added the quote, which is quiet moment, because that is what this spread really was about. I added splatters to the spread, but didn't want any on the rock. So again, I used the mask um, to cover up what I wanted to cover up and then just splattered on some pinkish contrasting splatters on there. The fact of adding the splatters and then drying them also gave me some time to think about what I wanted to do about my flowered branch here. I wanted it to have some color but not to contrast too much with the spread, to work with it. And just by adding the splatters I knew what I wanted to do with it. These little flowers are actually too small to water down the neo color that I'm using to colorize them, but I could also use the neo color without watering it down, just as a plain color, and that also helped the flowered branch to stand out beautifully from the background. And that's it. All I had left to do was to add my date stamp and a new spread was done in my journal. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're one of my patrons, huge shout out to you. You rock my world and I love you for it. I'll see you back here next time. Don't forget to put down a layer a day in a mindful way. Butterfly kisses.